Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the daily vibes for around the 30th. So let's just see what comes up. You know, the timing is fluid. So, what do we have for around the 30th? Seven of Coins. Eight of Cups reversed. Somebody is thinking about leaving. Okay, they're thinking about going someplace. This is pretending to be happy. Okay. Uh, you know, time's up over here. There's no more growth. There's nothing left. It is time to relocate. It is time. Somebody is, it's like they're, they're really, really, really thinking about it. They're thinking about relocating. They have another opportunity waiting for them. But for some reason, they're just pretending. This is pretending to be happy. Staying put. Refusing to move on. Even though this the season is over. Okay? The season is over. It's, it's time. It's definitely time. Ooh. Three of Swords reversed. Now, this is leaving the past behind. It is leaving it behind. It's headed in a new direction. It's releasing pain. It's time. It's time to leave the past behind. It's very emotionally disappointing. Stop waiting. What are you waiting for? It's dead. Ten of Cups reversed and the Emperor reversed. So this is the dying dream. It's somebody leaving home. It's the end of a relationship. There's relationship problems. Somebody may be dealing with a masculine that's very controlling or deserts you in the time of need. This person isn't interested in helping. They're corrupt. They don't take responsibility. Uh, this is somebody that enjoys control. Definitely not thinking clearly. Very, very um, mean. So we have a mean individual here. Um, may not be very experienced. May not have a lot of life experience. Doesn't really follow through with plans. Doesn't plan effectively. We have an emperor here that is probably going to, or it's an emperor wannabe, okay? Somebody who wants to be an emperor that may be, pretend to be an emperor, you know, that is probably going to be experiencing a relationship change, okay? So there's going to be a relationship change here for this individual who, uh, this guy may be mean, very mean-spirited, could be a narcissist doesn't really want responsibility or doesn't accept responsibility likes to be the boss but doesn't have the qualifications to be a boss but pretends they do okay uh ten of cups reverse this is a dying dream it's the end of a relationship it's over it's definitely over okay there's been a lot of pain there's probably been some heartache there's been some suffering it's definitely time to leave it behind uh, but somebody has been staying put. They've been staying put, investing in something that is, is, you know, it's over. The season is over. This, you know, they say some people come into your life, you know, just for a season. Well, this season is over. It's over. It's time to relocate. The emperor in reverse is somebody that's probably going to get upset. Can't master their emotions. There could be, uh, well an uproar. The emperor in reverse could be somebody who gets mean, gets angry, gets upset. Um, what is this ten of cups reverse though? Ten of cups reverse. Relationship problems. This is a dying dream. The relationship is over. Uh, the star. This this is uh, the star is a card of blessing. Comes after the tower. So the tower falls. This is a blessing in disguise. This is help arriving, guiding somebody, guiding somebody down a new path. Stars are guidance, right? They're guiding light. So somebody is going to be guided down a new path even though they are reluctant to go, okay? They're definitely reluctant to go. This is help arriving for this individual who may be in a... Uh, negative mindset. I mean, the emperor in reverse is somebody that is probably very upset. Okay, 
struggling for sure struggling over the end of a relationship definitely str struggling over heartache it's definitely time to leave it and this is help arriving so there is some sort of help that is arriving this is somebody that can help somebody to heal because the star is healing it's a healing light um, now this is renewal so there's some sort of help arriving this is a this is a uh, blessing oh oh so interesting the sun reverse that is whew, next to the star up right this is sadness poor logic unhealthy we have a masculine energy and it, it could be a female because we have that and well but it's more it's whoever this person is they're they have a lot of masculine they're very masculine we have a masculine that is not healthy they are not healthy at all maybe they have heart issues or um, relationship issues for sure there's relationship issues could even be a drinking problem um, anyway this is this is a broken relationship there's definitely a broken relationship here and there's poor logic there's disillusionment there's uh suffocating somebody is feeling suffocated they can't breathe there's lack of fresh air they're having a hard time breathing uh, so this is um false impressions as well there's we have this is like we have an individual here that is in a it could be a sad situation it could be a sad relationship you know, there's definitely a lack of growth. It's, there's no growth here. It's definitely time to go. There's been a lack of healing, but it is time. It's definitely time. It's time to it's st stop wasting time. This person has been thinking about leaving. They've been thinking about it, thinking about it, thinking about it. They have. But they may have uh, been reluctant. For Why were they reluctant? Ooh. The Empress. The Empress, reluctant to uh, deal with pain. The Empress has to experience pain to, to, to get a blessing. Okay, there is a blessing here. But the Empress has to experience pain. You don't get the blessing without the pain. It's just the way it goes. No matter how you see it. The Empress gives birth, okay? She gives birth to a new life. And how this is like a metaphor, okay? She gives birth to a new life. And that doesn't have to be a physical birth, okay? This is the birth of a new life. But you, th you, you use the metaphor of an actual birth to get that miracle, that blessing, you will be experiencing pain. So there's a blessing here, which we already said. But there's pain involved. There is pain involved. And I think the pain has to do with leaving behind you know maybe it's leaving behind a mother or a wife or somebody that they love okay um or it has to do with experiencing pain i don't want to experience the pain this is staying put because i don't want to experience the pain okay you have to experience the pain to receive the blessing so that's why somebody is staying put now this is the birth of a new life so we do have an individual that has been thinking about leaving um, this person is, or they're thinking about going back as well. Somebody may be thinking about going back to something with the Eight of Cups reversed. Somebody may have left and they want to come back, okay? Maybe they want to heal. Maybe they ask for forgiveness. Somebody's thinking about asking for forgiveness. Now, the Empress is a very beautiful individual, has a lot of options. She delivers. She knows her value and she knows her worth, okay? She's, she has a lot of life experience behind her back and she has dealt with pain. So we could, this could go many different ways, but this is a uh, very loving individual that has a lot of love to offer, but definitely knows their value. Somebody may, may be wanting to come back. This could be an apology. Somebody it may be reluctant to apologize as well. This is somebody who definitely is shallow, somebody that has a big ego that is not happy, okay? This is definitely not happy. Um, there may be some regrets over here. There's definitely a broken relationship. We have a 
a beautiful individual that may have healed and left the past hurts behind. She's holding her head up high. She's beautiful. She's uh, glowing, okay? And this is healed, healed, okay? So we may have a very... Um, valuable individual who, who is abundant that has you know let go of the pain this person has let go of the pain which is very interesting this emperor is pissed the emperor in reverse is somebody that is pissed they are being guided they're being guided to do something but there's dishonesty here so we may have an emperor that is being dishonest with themselves this is dishonest there is hope for renewal because this is a, this is a wish. Somebody may be hoping for renewal. They may be hoping, you know, uh, to find happiness again or whatever it is. But this is poor logic, disillusionment, uh, not seeing clearly. This person is in a dark period. They are they are in a period of darkness because it's the opposite of the sun reversed. And this is also some sort of no. This person is saying no, 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 no. They're not listening. They're not listening. So we, this person doesn't listen to anybody. Very stubborn and set in their ways. So we do have a, a masculine energy that it won't listen. Just won't listen. Won't listen that to, to whoever it is that is saying, whatever they're saying, that this is a blessing in disguise. Leaving this relationship is a blessing in disguise. Whatever that resonates with you. Um, there's this is a mother type energy. The the empress is, is a mother. She takes very good care she of whoever she touches. Okay, she's a caregiver. She's a lover. She nurtures. She's she's very um, tender, abundant. Looks like she's looking at wish fulfillment. You notice she's looking at that star, looking at a dream come true. Somebody is looking at wish fulfillment. This empress. She has turned her back on somebody that has walked away. She has. She's turned her back on somebody that has walked away. But I feel like this person that has walked away is thinking about, go, would like to go back. Would like to go back to her or doesn't want her to leave or something like that. She may be thinking about leaving because this is thinking about leaving something that is, you know, uh, dead. Okay, because this is a dead end. There's nothing left here. This is leaving the past hurts. This is on the road to recovery. There's been a lot of pain, but this is healing from the pain. So we do, this is a feminine that has done a lot of healing. And she has turned her back on an emotionally disappointing situation that she invested in for probably quite some time. Anyhow, um, let's get the card that goes right here. What do we got? What do we got? Oh, there it is. The Hermit reversed. Time to reconnect. That is a, that is time to reconnect. To stop re re restricting. To stop restricting. This is seeing the light. This is coming out of hiding. And this is a guiding light as well. So we have a guiding light here. Somebody is being guided. They are being... And the Hermit goes down a new path. Somebody is being guided to go down a new path. But this Emperor in reverse is very stubborn. And not listening. Definitely not listening. This is relationship problems. We have an emperor here that is being superficial. This is false impressions. Very unhealthy relationship. We have somebody that is in an unhealthy relationship or an unhealthy state of mind. Because this is somebody who is very focused, generally. Um, the star card is there is hope. There is hope for renewal. This is help. There's hope. There's help. There's a purpose. A new purpose. There's a blessing that is waiting because this comes after the tower. Okay, so the tower is falling for this emperor in reverse. This is crumbling, crashing to the ground. Something is crashing, but it's actually a blessing in disguise because there's a beautiful individual over here. That has already been through a lot of pain. 
Interesting. Now this hermit reversed is fear. Fear of, of growing old alone, but it's also a midlife crisis. Somebody's going through a midlife crisis right now. And they're in the broken relationship that they don't want to be in. It's a midlife crisis and they don't want to be alone. But if they could, you know have faith because a star is a card of faith and be, let themselves be guided down that new path they would be taken care of which is interesting anyhow um, because the Empress takes care she takes care of whatever she touches okay it could be dealing with the Taurus could be dealing with the Libra Virgo Aquarius Leo Aries Capricorn um, could be anybody okay um, the hermit reversed is is coming out of hiding somebody's been hiding they've been in uh, well probably withdrawn they've been in spirit darkness okay they've been in the dark Okay, they have. This is darkness. This is darkness as well. Somebody's been in the dark. They've been in a period of darkness. Probably maybe a dark night of the soul situation, whatever. Um, this is very upset. I think that somebody's going to get angry as well. I think that this is a... This could be an outburst. There could be an angry outburst that is coming. Somebody could get really angry and have an outburst. They, you know, that's the way I see that. This is cold, too. So we have a very cold, cold. This is cold. But there is some sort of help that is here to guide somebody down a new path towards love. So I'm just saying, I'm just saying there is. Somebody is being guided towards love. But this person is very stubborn. This empress, she gives birth to a new life. So there is a new life that is, that is, you know, she delivers. She delivers. She's, uh, now this is forgiveness. This is healing. She's done some sort of healing. She's healed from the pain. She is healed from the pain because that's healed. This is reconnection of some sort. There's going to be some sort of reconnection. Somebody may have went into hermit mode. You know, they went into hiding. They withdraw. They withdrew. Now they're showing up. They're coming. They're coming out. They're coming back or something like that. The devil reversed. Oh, this is this is uh, taking control. This is taking control of a situation. This is breaking free. This is freedom. It is freedom. Freedom from hell. Okay? Because a devil upright is hell. Somebody's going to be taking back control of a situation. They've been suffering. They've been suffering. They've been in a toxic, unhealthy situation. A deep, deep, dark place. That's what we got. We have because hell is a deep, dark place, and they're coming into the light. They're seeing the light. They're seeing the light. So somebody is coming out of their dark place. That they are. And this, and this is heaven. The star card is a card of heaven. Stepping into the light. So this is interesting. So we have an individual who has been in a deep, dark place that is coming out of that dark place and, and stepping into the light. It's almost like an awakening. Okay? And they're looking to be taken care of. And help is arriving this is a dream come true. Okay, this is. It really is. This is a wish being granted. It's like help arrives to guide them and help them to heal. So I think we have and I feel like it's a, I feel like there's and this is this is like a soulmate connection, okay? It is. 
So we have, a, we have two people that are coming together after a tower moment because the star comes after a tower moment, after a big disruption, after a fight or after a breakdown or, a, or you know, a breakup or something. There is a major disturbance, a crash, a crumble, a, a, a clean out per se. You know, somebody is forced to start over, probably against their will, but they come together with another person that is perfect. It's a perfect match. And they break free from uh, this deep, dark place, okay? They come out of the deep, dark place. This is coming out, and this is too. It's like they step out of hell. It's like coming out of hell. It really is stepping into the light stepping into you know a beautiful situation anyhow um something very abundant the empress is is very abundant she's you know a mother she she treats everything with unconditional love so this person this is a person it is a feminine has the ability to help heal she's done some healing this is freedom it is it's freedom it's freedom from that dark place and this could be the end of loneliness as well because the hermit reverse is is like the end of loneliness if this person can you know be logical this you know this is not logical sees the light this person that is gonna see the light whoever this person is ace of coins golden opportunity a new opportunity to build something solid this is potential this is a gift this is a blessing so we have a a masculine that is going to have an opportunity to definitely go down a new path with a very beautiful individual okay this is a perfect match it is I think there's going to be a deep attraction as well with that devil card, whether it's reversed or upright. There's going to be a very, it's a very sensual connection. Um, so there's going, we have, this is a new opportunity to go down a path and it could lead to uh, something long term. This is a gift. It is depth. These are both gifts. Somebody is receiving a gift. They're receiving the opportunity for a, this is something, this is manifestation as well. Anyhow, they've, they're receiving, somebody is receiving a new opportunity to go down a new path with somebody that is very uh, solid, stable, secure. This is something you can take to the bank, something you can bank on, something you can keep, something that can last. Somebody is, it's like, this is a real, this is somebody is, that is getting a real opportunity. So we do have a, an individual up here that is very stubborn and set in their ways. is being given a chance to go down a new path if they can face reality and let go of a broken relationship. Because this is a broken relationship and this one is too. It's about being practical. Anyhow, so we're talking about the 30th. 30th, we have an individual that has been thinking. They've been thinking about their new life. They've been thinking about coming forward. They have. But they were in some sort of relationship that wasn't making them happy. Right here. But they're being guided, and this could be guided from somebody that has passed away, guided from above. They're being guided. They are. They're going to be guided. They're being guided right now to reconnect with whoever this person is. Good luck.